One of the most common questions I get when I'm streaming and stuff and just general art is how I animate in Fire Alpaca. And it's something I didn't know you, you could even do at, like, you know, when I first started because Fire Alpaca is not meant to be an animation program as far as I know. It's just kind of here, but it works as one as long as you have the right materials and stuff. This won't be a tutorial on how to download Fire Alpaca because I can't, I can't do that. I'm not very good at explaining that, but I can explain how I animate and stuff. So the two programs you're going to have to have download are just the materials first. You have to have a, a computer. This is not a mobile thing. Fire Alpaca. I use something else to edit the frames together called Lightworks, which I'll have a link to both of those in the description for those. I won't be able to explain how to download those. It's pretty straightforward once you get to the website, but yeah, so Fire Alpaca and Lightworks. Okay, so I'm in here in Fire Alpaca. You, you have to have the layers right here, and if you don't have layers... Here, let's just create a new one, so we'll make a new file. What you do, if you're uploading an animation to YouTube, it doesn't have to be in this, but it's good to have it as the screen resolution, like the 1920 by 180 I mean 1080 p whatever thing. So this is, this is just a normal little animation thing. You have all your brushes down here. You have all your colors here, brush control, all of that wacky stuff. You have a little smiley face right here. Oh no, I accidentally closed my layers. How do I get them back? There is a thing up here, the the windows right here. It, that's where all of it is. So if you want your layers back, you click the layer button. There it is. And if you want the navigator back, that's how it works. To be able to animate, you have to turn on, you go to view and then onion skin mode right here. Now when you turn on onion skin mode, that means, so here I'll draw a circle like this and then I do another frame it disappears and treats it as an animation layer. So your animation layers are stored here on the side. This is frame one, this is frame two. I do this and it moves. That's how That's how the animation layers work in Fire Alpaca. Uh, a little smear frame, oh, smear, oh yeah, smear. So you have the animation here, all these different little frames like this. Like this, that's all, that's the animation you have right here. Really simple, just one layer animation. When you want to play your animation, you click autoplay, and it plays it for you, like this, see? And down here you have different frames per second, like here's one frame per second, which is stupid. We go 6 FPS, like that. Usually I, I look at stuff at like 10 or 12 frames per second, even though I don't really know if that's what I do. If you're crazy, you can go 60 frames, <laughs> 60 frames per second, sorry. <laughs> 60 frames per second. And that's, how, that's just bluntly how you animate. So here's the harder questions and stuff. If you notice, I'll show you another one of my animation projects in a minute that has really complex stuff, but it's not very practical to just animate on one layer, okay? So when you're doing this, this is difficult. So you make a folder and before you do anything else, as in like add any more lines or anything, you do this and you add a base background, okay? I don't care what color it is, just a base background. And then you add another layer and this is how you have multiple layers in an animation, you use folders. And instead of creating a new folder every time, what I do is, and why I, what I said to make this background layer right here, is so you can copy it. Copy, copy, copy. You have all these different frames now. And that way, whenever you actually need to add a background, you don't have to have one, but when you need to add a background, you don't have to go copy, paste, copy, paste into every single frame and flip through the flames, flames, frames. You can just keep it like that. And it's a lot easier. And that you can also do that with other frames as well. So, like, you can have your sketch layer right here. This is a circle bimbo bob like this shoulders like that okay and then you do this also look notice how i can't see anything when i duplicated that you just make the background go invisible so now you can see it when you have a new frame like this what i do is so i do that multiply the folder and then i erase this and then you keep animating that's that's just how it works it's how look it's the moving up that's that's how it works that's how the funny funky that's the funny funky that's how you animate with multiple layers now let me go dig through my other files so i can find the correct way to show you how to freaking animate I me mean, notice all the frames and stuff here is just a base frame this is frame six right here i have lots of folders inside a folder so each top folder is a different frame notice when i switch them like that but down here i have the line art colors and then extra lighting and stuff and you just keep it all in one folder like that and you just keep duplicating 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 like that and it moves that's how you play animations and stuff in this since this was already a really hefty file i went ahead and separated and did a separate animation on another file let's animate something together okay so you have a new file right here you have um 
I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw a, what do I draw? Here, I'll draw a, a funny dragon doing a funny wiggle. Okay, let's get him. Wow, look, we did it. We animated something. Okay, here, let's just, let's just do a little background too, just so I can explain that. Here, we'll do a little, um, he lives in the void. Uh, what I like to do too for the backgrounds, I'll draw something like this, and I know I said something else about not having copy paste. You usually do, but it's easier having it like this, so you can just do this, and then you paste it down onto it. So, here, here's our thing. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, yep, that he's having a great time. So after you have actual animation frames, so okay, go over here. Let me pull this up right here. So we look at this, we got files right here. Go to pictures. What I do is I make a new folder, and I'll just call it animation, like this. And you go back to Fire Alpaca, and what you have to do is manually export each one of these frames. And how you do this, so you do this, go here, if I can find it, so animation. This is frame one, so I'll save it as one. You can just name it whatever, but this is just how I keep them in order in the folder. Two. Three. Four. And that's how that works. Sometimes, though, here I'll pull up my untrust us meme. I'll have to do in-betweens on certain ones, and you can just delete all the stuff you just exported and resave it with that. But what I like to do is do one, two, three. So say there, I have to win. Say I want to put an in-between between those other frames I just exported. I'll do one A, one B, one C, one d and like etc and then let's say i went in betweens between two and three i'll just do 2a 2b 2c etc and sometimes you need in betweens between the in between so you just go 1a a or 1a b 1a c just this is it goes and so on it's just how your computer labels things and you just think like that and that's how i do it specifically here i'll pull up untrust us right now um see this right here so i have one two three four and then look between here four a and four b between four and five i needed in betweens between that to make it smoother and what i was wanting to do and that's what i did okay so over here you have lightworks pulled up so i assume you already have lightworks downloaded um you have your files and stuff saved on the little thing all your animation you go to create new project i'll just call it animation Oops, don't even do that. Oops. Okay, animation. This is the light work. So, basic light work editing, just all you need to know. You go over here, ignore the log stuff, go to edit. This is your space where you edit things. And so you pull up your animation right here. I like to do it like this so I can just... Oh, let me make it smaller. Oop. 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 Okay. Oops, that might be a little too small. But here's animation. So what you have to do is just drag and drop like this and now you have all your frames in here and then you drag and drop them down the timeline i like to zoom in you have to zoom in a lot for the animations you see these little tick marks those are things so usually i just do it like i think it's on twos i'm not sure if that's what i'm doing but like this and then you have the animation and it plays and if you're wanting it to go faster you just move them closer if you want it slower you spread them apart and then put in between so it's smoother and if you have like a sequence like this, we have four, that's really short. So you go over here to sequences and you drag and drop and you just repeat over and over again. That's how I did like blinking animation thing on that little, just the two of us. So you have this and then your funny little animation, just like that. That's, that's your animation. I don't know what it means, but yeah, look, we did it. Look, da -da. Um, sometimes you can add music. So let's, let's go add music real quick. Um, what do I got? I mean, find a good Mario. Here, we'll use Coconut Mall. Oops, yep. So what I do is that, okay, most animation programs, they have audio that you can listen to while animating. I just do it by ear. I mean, that's some people might have difficulty doing that, but I just do it by ear. I listen to the audio and then lip sync and stuff best I can. And what I do is I'll usually have the audio laid out beforehand. And... Then I listen to it and I'll place the frames where they're supposed to go and then add in betweens when needed. And then you have an animation like this. Look. Yep, and then we animated. And then, then you can add other little effects and things. Like if I wanted to, I could just make it flip flop back and forth in this. There are other lightwork stuff. I might add like a lightworks and like tutorial for doing stuff like this, but if you're just doing animation, this is all you basically need to know. So you do that oh I close it 
closed gap so you don't have like a black space and you export it so you have your animation all your frames laid out and things you go to sequences right here and then you right click it move to export and then an mp4 i don't have pro i just have the little light stuff you could do other stuff pro like this if you add it you can change the resolution i don't have pro so you do that start export it and then you got an animation that's that's how you animate and i'm not you me that's how i animate in fire alpaca i hope that wasn't confusing so just bluntly again you have make a new file go here make a folder if you want well i just do a folder regardless because you, you don't just want to have one layer draw your layers duplicate them do that like that if you want to view your animation you go to autoplay play it like that whatever and then each frame you click it export you go to the file you made, you make a special folder just for this animation, you put them in by numbers, you're done with that, you go to Lightworks, and then drag and drop them into here, arrange them on the timeline with whatever audio you want, or just by itself, and then there you go. That's how you animate, or how not you again, how I animate in Fire Alpaca. There's another way, when I was still learning, apparently you can do it by, like, GIFs somehow, but, um... I don't really like doing that because it's confusing and Lightworks specifically using this I have more control about the audio and when you do it in the GIF kind of thing you have to it just kind of goes all at once but this way I can control how frames come onto screen and such like that and I can add more animation zooming in and stuff like that it's not complex not as complex as I'd like it to do sometimes I wish I could do like have it slide across like tween across the screen while animating but i can't do that it's kind of limited but you can already see all the stuff i'm able to do with it so really easy if it's all of this is free lightworks is free fire alpaca is free so i hope this helps and thank you for watching if you have any questions just put them in the comments i'll have links to both fire alpaca and lightworks in the description um yeah ha have a good day bye